All right, guys. So I will show you guys the entrance to this place. We are at the Paw Paw Tunnel, which is in West Virginia. Uh, me and Ron came here a couple days ago, last week, something like that. And we kind of got ran out of here by people, which there was people here. They just left. I'm accompanied by my friend Scott. You can call him Norman. We are going to try to investigate this, guys. Now, there's not much to it. It's a tunnel, which you can't even see the end. It goes on for a good distance. So we're going to try it. There is claims. If you guys look it up, it's P-A-W-P-A-W, Paw Paw Tunnel, like animal paws. Um, apparently, it's on YouTube. People have investigated this before. Uh, there's phantom sounds, uh, phantom lights. So we're going to try to bring out some equipment, see what we catch, see what we can do. So deuces, guys. Love you all. Let's see what we catch. Peace. So guys, I'll let you guys know, me and Scott used to always go into creepy places when we were younger. We basically, like, we grew up beside each other, so we were always running around being stupid, so we've been into a lot of creepy places. But this is the first time he's gone goose hunting with me since my channel. This is a static meter, so that's, if anything comes near this, it will set it off. And then this is an EM pump, which will generate electricity that they can use to talk, touch something. It just gives them power or energy. And then this is a temperature gauge. It'll go red if it's hot, blue if it's cold. It'll let you know if the temperature changes within here. The back there's only somebody on the 10. I think that's the, uh, it is fireworks. Shit is closer. Yeah. Like I turned around and my whole shit's like moved really far. Why is this open? I don't know why that's open. That's weird. We should do it open. One loop. One loop. One loop and it was open. Think. Somebody use this is a motion ball with a cat ball. They work really good. They also can they can go off without even moving them. I figured that out. Um, Forest Haven, which is an abandoned insane asylum. We got these things that go off talking, like we're just talking. We're like, if you are you a guy or you a girl, you go off. Like they can somehow some, make these things go off, and it, all it takes is the slightest touch to make them go off. And it doesn't go off by itself. Is that noise? That's what I was wondering. It's almost like somebody, it sounds like somebody on 10. Yeah, it's but a, I don't know if it's like, uh, I thought it was like fireworks like at first. weird echo. Yeah, but that's why I was, I was like, it's not fireworks. It's not fire. 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 All right, we got you guys some toys. Oh, that's the EM generator. I didn't know that was the EM generator. See, that's almost the sound that I heard in my ear with the flashlight. Oh, that's the, uh, the shadow detector. I thought that was the shadow detector. That's fine. So, guys, I'm not sure. I thought I hit record. If I didn't, then you guys are just now seeing this. I thought I heard talking down at the end. We're not sure. And there's fireworks in the background. So if you hear banging, that's what that is. Like the booms. Right there. But that's going to help us because we're going to go with the sound of dynamite for them. The story is that people obviously died building this tunnel. Cave-ins, stuff like that. So that's what happened here. I don't know if anybody was hurt post after building this. Did somebody fall in? Did they get crushed by a boat? Don't know. But the story is that people died obviously building this tunnel. Can you come forward? 
We're not scared of you and you don't have to be scared of us. We have stuff here that can help you to communicate. You want to come over and try to touch one of them? They don't hurt you. I know it seems strange. All right, well, I got a device for you to try to speak through. So if you can, try to use it. And it'll help us communicate. So I'm trying to feel the change of the wind like that. Yeah. I've been trying to feel like the natural. It's like cold or something. Yeah. Can you tell us your name? I'm Jeremy, this is Scott. Scott. If we hear something to that, it's almost guaranteed in your face because we're in a mountain. You can hear it. There's nothing coming through as a thick house. If you hear something, it's almost going to be This will help us communicate. Can you come in forward and speak through it? Is it cold where you are? A little chilly in here. Can you come towards the lights? Do you have a lantern? Man, guys, we, we are going to walk. Is that you getting closer? Hold my hand out. Touch my hand. No. Yeah, so if you're trying to talk, we can't hear you. You gotta speak up. Oh God. This eyes were watery too. Is it? Yeah. I don't, my eyes are like unless I'm watching something like a chick flick. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's all sad. <laughs> Sometimes you get like you're in places, like you feel yeah. emotions. Yeah, it's almost like. Should we have like maybe more workers to work on the time? I don't know, that's what I was thinking. I was just trying to feel the, the, like the air and everything. Maybe we should act like the workers instead of people with a boot. Because people died making this tunnel. A little. You got goosebumps? You got goosebumps and my eyes watery. I don't know if that means anything, but. We're, we're here to help dig. I heard the tunnel's not complete. Do you need help digging the tunnel? Are you trying to find a way out of the tunnel? Did you hear that? It was like, it said two words. And then that just flickered. I don't know why, it never does that. It almost sound like uh, if you're being recorded on a phone call, how it about you got people you said after it? It was like two words, it was like, what's your name? Leave. 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 Tell us to leave or is it Steve? There's something right there, I'll say this, let's help. There's something right there, I'll say this, let's help. There's something right there, I'll say this, let's help. I swear to God, it's her voice, 100%. Oh my god, so I'm gonna put this away and check behind this. Alright, 
All right, guys, you can't tell. You don't. You can't realize how far this tunnel goes. And like I said, and then down here is the water. They would have pulled the boats through the whole way through this. But here's how far we are. Like, you can't even see hardly. It just gets black. You can't even see the end. It's just black. Can you see our light? That's why that one big guy was huffing and puffing when me and Roe were here. Because of how far of a hike it was for him, poor guy. I think this does look like this is going. It's a slight grade. Yeah. Do you need a cigarette? We got a cigarette for you. Would you like a cigarette? You got to come out and show yourself. Where did they get hurt at? Where did, where did people get hurt? I keep, every once in a while, I keep thinking I hear something. I'm amazed I don't see a lot of bats in here, you know what I mean? Like it's cool enough and dark for me. I feel like the water, yeah. through the ground. Yeah. Ooh, I feel like heaviness right here, bro. Like no bull crap, I feel like heavy. All right, we're gonna stop recording for now and keep walking. All right guys, so we reached the end, which is right here. But as we were walking, cause we saw a sign saying like, be careful, danger of rocks. We stumbled. Here, let me see if I can get them in frame. Let me do that. We stumbled across this. Can you see the banded part? Right where my light is, right here, is a freaking water moccasin. Right over here underneath this green tree, see it? Is his head. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yep, he's starting to lick the air. Got a blue right. tongue, buddy. Right there he is. Right there. You see the shadow of his head? Right there is his body. Look at that. There's his tongue going. We about stumbled on a freaking poisonous snake. There's a heart right beside him. Look at that. Right there he is. Look at that. There's his body. Yo. It's his body. Yo. Yeah, something's shaking. I cannot believe we about stumbled on a freaking water moccasin. And I was standing, we were both standing right beside this thing because we were looking at the rocks that go the whole way up. Like, look at this, look how high up it goes. And we heard the leaves move and I jumped. I mean, I jumped. And luckily I did because right here, is a freaking water moccasin. Here, let me see if I can get up close with this. I always prepared, like, I'm always in the back of my mind, like when we go into abandoned places, me and Lindsay and all that, I'm always like, you know, hey, you've got to careful with snakes. I always watch stepping on like doors that are laying on the floor. I'll try to tap on them first to see if something scurries out. That I wasn't even ready for. I'm standing there not even paying attention, looking up at rocks and I hear something in the grass below me. And we were, what, a foot away from that? Yeah. And I it's a freaking, it. yeah. If, <laughs> that, like, that, that? that saying, if it was a snake, it would bit you? Definitely. That would have bit him. So, and I'm even had the light on it. I'm like, dude, it's right there. He's like, where? I'm like, right there on the light. I blame it on no glasses. Yeah, that, that's messed up because that was a legit freaking water moccasin or copperhead. 
Ooh, Definitely and this is a long know. tunnel. We, by the time, there would have been no way. If we would have got bit in the foot, there would have been no way we wouldn't have made it because this tunnel's too long. We would have had to run, heart pumping, would have pumped the venom to his heart or my heart. They had to suck it out. Yeah, there would have been no way because I just bit my tongue yesterday. So I'm not sucking it out. So that's messed up, man. That's what I'm always afraid of. And lo and behold, right there. And I had Rowan here four days ago. So now I know to be careful. I know not to take road to places like this. It's not even that scary on the other end, but it's at night. I guess that kind of stuff happens. Freak accidents. Yep. All right, guys. So we're going to be at the outside of it filming. But we're not on the other side where the snake was. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a bat, dude. Oh, oh that's a bat. Oh, shoot. You dude, that's for the video. Dude, that's a bat, dude. Yeah, that was I in thought, your face. Yeah, Where I know. I thought at? it was a a moth. Ooh. That was the biggest moth ever, dude. Right. Oh, he's that right was over not there. A moth. He's right there. Oh, dude, he's on the ground. He's right there. Oh, there dude. No, 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 no. Watch out. He's oh, right okay, there. Okay, okay. It's alright, buddy. Or is that a moth? Hold yeah, on. I don't know what it is, but that terrified me. Dude, if that's a moth, that's the biggest you moth. Can, like, oh. Dude, that's a big ass thing. Oh, it keeps flying away. Dang it. No, 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 buddy. Is that a moth or a freaking? Hurry up, hurry up. Go see what it is, if it's a moth or a bat. Because it's flying around like a moth. Is that it? All right, guys. So it's the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I hope we caught some stuff. What is that? Oh, I was like, dude, what is that in the camera? But all right, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Peace. Hope you all enjoyed. Peace and butt grease. I don't know why I said that, but deuces all.